Today is Sunday and I thought what a better day to do a little bit of a makeup makeup tutorial I suppose and review of this new Charlotte Tilbury palette. You have seen me talking about this palette in my May favorites and I promise that I'm going to create a makeup look with this palette with you and also I just want to do a little bit of unboxing in the next part of this video with you today. So I need to look well and presentable better than I look now. So I have my brows done. I put a color yesterday and they look very, very strong, very dark. So I apologize if they like in your face, literally. And I also have foundations on. So the foundation that I have, I what I've been doing recently, I bought a number three and number four foundation from Charlotte Tilbury and I mix them together because the number four, it's better on the days when I'm wearing um, tan. Number three, it's very, very pale. So it's probably like when I zero tan on me, it's it's probably the best. However, like for today, for example, um, I prefer to mix them together. So I usually mix them in the little jar from Charlotte Tilbury like that I have left. And I'm also adding a little bit of a flawless filter. So this flawless filter gives you this beautiful, beautiful glow. I'm just going to apply it on my hand. So you can use that underneath your makeup if you wish so. And also you can mix it with your foundation you can use it as a highlighter there's so many different ways i have to review this product for you actually separately if i get a chance because there's so many ways you can use it so i mix in three of them two different color foundation and flawless filter and i had it all of this here mixed in the jar and then i'm just applying it usually with the beauty blender so that's what i have just a basic canvas on my face now and now so the palette you, if you have not seen my previous video, I'm going to leave the link down below and somewhere here on top as well for you if you want to click on it. But this palette has it all. <laughs> um, I absolutely love it, adore it. I will try to maybe just cover that mirror for a minute. So what I love about it, you have everything in it. So how amazing is that? So if you're trying to go for weekends away, you don't have to pack a powder, bronzer, blusher, highlighter and eyeshadows. So that's what it's, everything is in this palette, apart from, please shower till break, and you also put a little bit of a lipstick in something like that in the future. I think it would be just ideal. So when you go for holidays, you know you have to pack as minimum as possible, also for your kids away. And if you minimalist, minimalist person, if you just try to reduce the amount of makeup in your drawer, this is just ideal. And again, if you not familiar with Shara Tilbury, you want to try her product, see if anything is going to work for, your, uh, for yourself. This is just perfect to start. So there's two different palettes in this one. I chose the lighter shades because I feel they probably better for a paler complexion. When the other one, it will be ideal for the darker complexions because I feel even bronzer is darker, uh, powder I think it's much darker. I did not see that palette live yet. I still didn't leave basically our house nearly for a year nearly now no I'm, I'm joking i'm not that bad but i have not traveled to dublin since um, our lockdown was shifted so i didn't have a chance to go and look at it so this is uh, my online purchase and i'm really really happy with it so i'm going to use this palette with you now and it's just beautiful for everyday makeup date night holidays just anything just perfect if you're looking for classic simple look as well that is just highlights your beautiful features <laughs> look no further um so yeah let's start with it i'm going to compare it as well to the products that i already have um just to let you know as well a little bit more about the colors in it so if you have some shower tilbury products this probably will be very very good for you just to know that maybe you don't have to buy this palette because you already might have all of those products that are in here so um, I'm not cover up your mirror, I apologize, you probably see a lot of reflections <laughs> around me. Um, so where we are going to start, I feel I'm going to start with the bronzer and I'm going to compare the bronzer for you, the shade of that to a bronzer that I have number one. So just let me open a number one for you and I'm just going to do the swatches for you. So number one is really perfect bronzer for pale complexion, it's everyday bronzer. It's a very subtle so you're barely going to see it on your skin. And I'm just going to do a little swatch as well on my hand with two of them so you can see those two products together. So the bronzer on this palette is over here and 
as you're going to see in one second, there is quite of a difference. So this is the one from the palette and this is number one. So just to prepare yourself, I'm actually really, really happy that I have also a darker one because it's perfect for actually a contour. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use the darker bronzer. I'm not going to use the lighter one that I already have because you have seen me reviewing it in my previous, previous video. Again, I can leave a link down below or somewhere over here for you if you want to watch it. So for the bronzer, I have to say I don't have a good a brush. This brush is from Inglot 4SS and I have it for years, but it's really worn out at this stage. But I just love the size of it as well, the kind of it's fluffy, it's perfect, but I need to replace it ASAP. So once I get a chance to go to the stores, I'm definitely going to replace it with something else. So when I use bronzer, I only use it just not in the actually this hollow, just above it. I feel if I use it in the hollow with the age, I feel like I draw my face down instead of lift everything up. So usually I just use a little bit of bronzer over here, just above this hollow and also around the hairline. So like so, just you can see it's a lovely shade. It's perfect, it's not too dark, it's still lovely for this simple and easy contour but if you want something really nearly invisible number one bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury is probably a better idea for you but also please don't limit yourself whatever is in this palette you can use it really everywhere on your face when you want to so you can use the highlighter blusher or bronzer as well as your eyeshadows so please don't limit yourself to just one product does does it just one thing so like so, I'm just going to apply that bronzer. I'm going to speed up this video, I think. <laughs> um, in, as I mentioned, around the hairline, in the hollow and just around my nose. Now I'm just going to take actually pull those hair away. This is my Way clips. I just love them. The metal clips from Way. They were actually part of the set when I bought it at the time. You have seen in my previous video. But now, like I've just applied um, quite a good bit of that product. I'm just gonna use another, just a simple brush. This one is from Madison Makeup. I can't remember. I think I bought it in TK Maxx. And it's just nice and fluffy. So I'm just gonna blend that a little bit better. Just we don't want to have any patching kind of look like effect. If you want to, you can also use the bronzer only as a blusher. You don't have to use it strictly, as I mentioned, as a bronzer. So quite often I actually use the bronzers as a base on my eyelid. Like I know I'm not a makeup artist, but I've learned so many tips and tricks over the years as well. I've been using so much makeup. I wear makeup nearly every single day and I really love experimenting with it just to find something nice and simple, easy solution as well, not too strong. The camera always fades everything away, so believe me, it looks a little bit stronger um, actually when I'm looking in the mirror in the real reality. <laughs> so once you're kind of happy with the blend, as I mentioned, I just like to contour my nose a little bit as well. So for the contour, I like just a nice and narrow brush. And this is one of my favorite uh, brushes from Makeup Forever. It's just tiny. A flat little brush like so and it's number I think it's number 210 and it's perfect if you want to apply just a little bit of color here in the lash line but also ideal for the contouring so I'm just going to take a little bit more of that bronzer on the brush and just create a little bit of a line on the top over here of my nose and just a little bit here on both sides it's not a really strong nose contouring. I'm not, that's not what I'm looking for. I don't like over exaggerating a very, very strong makeup as I mentioned it. We are looking here for more something natural and subtle. And of course, my all time favorite brushes you have seen also in my previous videos, uh, number six, it's a blending brush from Hourglass and I just love them. They're such beautiful looking uh, makeup brushes. Let me just show you a little bit more. They're beautiful, soft, and elegant and you're just gonna be so proud to bring them with you anywhere on your holidays so um quite often um actually called beauty have like 30 or 20 percent off and you can buy them on sale because they are expensive brushes but they're so worth it 
So just a little bit of blending around my nose and that's it. I'm just not really trying to create a strong kind of highlight and contour looks. It's just staying as natural as possible. So the next I am going to use is going to be probably a blusher. I want to compare this blusher to you. It's nice and beautiful, kind of like a corally shade of blusher. And there is a very similar shade from a color called Ecstasy from Charlotte Tilbury also. So I'm just going to show them two of you, two of them together beside, so you can see how similar they are actually. And the beautiful kind of a corally natural shade. So if you have this one, you probably don't need this color in this palette or this palette altogether. <laughs> but as I mentioned, it's perfect to have something in one place for travel specifically. So the blusher, I am going to use actually um, these two brushes that I love. This one is from Zo Zoeva. Again, you don't need so many brushes. I have to say you can really reuse your br brushes all the time. I know as a makeup artist, you're not going to agree with me, but if you trying to reduce the amount of makeup, save your money, you can really use one brush for many, many different things. Just to make sure you kind of wipe them off a little bit every time you use them, maybe just on the dry, nice kind of paper, not too harsh, not to damage the brushes. So, this beautiful Coralie blusher, I am just gonna apply very gently, just above that bronzer that we already have. And as you can see, just give you a beautiful instant glow. It's such a lovely shade and color also. So as I mentioned, we can use the same brush for the same different things. So I have very little of color left, the color left of blusher on this brush. So I'm just gonna use it again and use the highlighter, which is just this middle color over here. So just a little bit of highlighter on top of my cheekbone. Very, very little. Please use very little on your nose, tip of your nose. Do not use a very, very white kind of highlighters. It just looks so unnatural. Where this one has a beautiful gold shade um, shimmer in it. And it's a shimmer, it's not like a very, very strong glowing glitter. <laughs> of course, if you prefer looking for something stronger for the evening wear, this might be a little bit too soft. I still feel you can still beautiful and natural without exaggerating make makeup for the evening in the nighttime also. I've also applied a little bit always highlighter over here. This apparently kind of lift your brows up and create that kind of lift effect. So just a little bit above um, on my kind of above my brow bone. So tip of the nose, cheekbones, and above the brow, and that's it. And we don't need more highlighter. So as I mentioned, we're gonna reuse that highlighter in a minute again. So next, what I'm going to use as a base now for your eyeshadow, I have a little bit of foundation on. A lot of you love concealer. I actually don't use much concealer. I rarely, rarely use concealer. Um, I feel with the age, more, more you apply than actually you highlighting more wrinkles and everything looks worse and worse so <laughs> so you're trying to go really more minimalistic while you age um therefore very little concealer very little face powder we never i didn't actually use the face powder with you so i'm going to use it a little bit and again i don't really use much and i'm going to use the brush from real technique this brush i think it's discontinued but um if i do use the powder i only use on my chin and I just dab, dab. I don't really kind of swoosh around. Sometimes, very, very little, I use just under my eyes, kind of make sure that I'm setting foundation in. Very, very little. And sometimes, if I feel like, I use a little bit of the forehead, um, just in the middle. Oh, we just got exposed. Um, on my forehead, just a little bit here. Um, just to kind of set the makeup in, make it a little bit more matte, so have lovely glow on the side, but without exaggeration as well, and have a little bit of more matte in the middle, because usually my T-zone over a kind of course of a day just get a little bit more, um, of course, kind of greasy looking. It's an awful word. <laughs> so, okay, next. Next, what I'm going to use is just a kind of like a starting off a base um, for eyeshadows, just lovely kind of like a highlight, um, a little bit of my top lid. So I'm just gonna use actually the blusher. 
you can also use a bronzer which is absolutely fantastic you can use both of them together but this is just create a beautiful a coral effect it's such a lovely color you can use of course as much as you want you can build it up and i'm using the same brush with application and so i'm using the same brush to apply it and blend it you don't have to you can use two brushes if you want to but like so look how beautiful it looks so nice it's so beautiful and natural it's a very very feminine and girly kind of makeup and look just that's what i love about charlotte tilbury she really wants to bring the best out of your um have your out of your own features so next if you want to we can just make that makeup a little bit more stronger more defined and i'm going to use this kind of matte bronze eyeshadow just in the corner over here like so i'm just dab it for a second and we're going to blend it in a minute so i'm using now a different brush this is the brush that we use to blend um, contouring so i use that as an applying and the same blending brush from hourglass this one is number 14 and i'm just going to blend it like so As you can see, they're such a blendable, uh, blendable product as well. It's so much easier. So if you're not experienced, if you're not makeup artist, um, you find it very, very easy to blend it all. If you're only starting off with the makeup, if you're really young as well, and you just want to highlight your beautiful features, this is just perfect. No. It looks so, so pretty. I'm loving it and to just kind of highlight your eyelid a little bit better a little bit more I am going to use Hourglass um, makeup brush in number 12 and I am going to use highlighter so just to let you know those two colors this is actually shimmery bronze that you also can use eyeshadow and this is a very strong kind of glitter which I'm not a big fan of but you can use it for the evening if you wish so I'm just going to use the highlighter like so just just to kind of halfway through to my eyelid and I'm kind of stopping over here somewhere and also in the corner just gently a little bit not too much it's a beautiful champagne as I mentioned kind of champagne color that it just work lovely as an eyeshadow and lovely as a complexion so blend it a little bit more make sure that everything is just nice and blend together very gently I'm just gently gently touching my eyelids I have to say And this is nearly ready. So what else I am using um, from Charlotte Tilbury today? I actually want to use most of the products. I think all of the products are going to be Charlotte Tilbury. So the next I am going to use um, my favorite, favorite eyeliner. And this is Classic Collection. It's a bronzy shimmer eyeliner. I need to bring the mirror a little bit closer. <laughs> Or actually I'm just gonna use one of my bronzers to apply it and again it's such a lovely and natural bronze liner that you don't have to apply it too much it's gonna look natural if you're not experienced with it it's just gonna look perfect let me just fix a few kind of so like so just very very fine line I'm staying as close as possible to my eyelashes you don't have to be very precise with it because again it's so natural that uh, most of the mistake if you do make some kind of mistake you barely can see it anyway it's very easy to fix it and now I'm just gonna flick up a little bit towards my the end of my brow and basically that's it that's all that's all you need it's such a lovely and natural slightly shimmering bronze eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. Next, mascara. And there's three mascaras that I have from Charlotte Tilbury. I love all of them equally. However, I've always gone back to this one because this one creates this just really, really strong, nearly false light lashes effect. It might be a little bit clumpy for some of you. You might not necessarily like it. I adore it. It just gives me the strongest, blackest eyelashes Ever. it might be a little bit too strong for the day look but I'm all about uh, fuller lips and eyelashes personally so yes 
let's just gonna use the mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. Please remember always, 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 always wash your mascara wand at least once a month. I've noticed that the product builds up on mascara wand so easily and your mascara is not working as it should be anymore if you're not gonna wash your um, the mascara wand. So please wash it regularly, make sure you dry it before you just put it back in. So, favorite, favorite mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. The only thing that I don't like about this mascara is, I have to say that it just might leave a little bit of residue on your top eyelid if you have, or your brown bone actually, if you have a long eyelashes. That's the only thing that sometimes annoys me. But other than that, I just love this mascara. Now it's a little bit clumpy today. I've washed my mascara wand, but this mascara, it's probably a little bit over three months now and I know I have to change it. It is time to change it. I love it. So now if you would like to make your eyes um, even stand out more. One of my favorites, again, absolutely favorite. I don't think I'm gonna look in any further. It's, um, it's a charcoal, basically, a pencil in bedroom black from Charlotte Tilbury. And it's just ideal to create a little bit more fullness around your, for more fullness of your eyelashes. So I'm just look, uh, applying at the base of the eyelashes just a little bit more, it's so dark. And it's a lovely, it actually doesn't really transfer that much on your lower eyelid during the day. So it's just perfect. But it just makes your eyelashes look even darker and stronger. You can sometimes, if you don't want to wear mascara, you can also use just only this pencil. It's just perfect. You can use it as an eyeliner as well if you wish. So it's a very, very dark, it's just pure black. <laughs> For the lower lashes, sometimes I am applying mascara, sometimes I'm only using eyeshadow. So today, we are going to go back to our palette, and I'm gonna use two eyeshadows. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna use this beautiful brush uh, from Makeup Forever number 210. And first of all, I'm just gonna use a little bit of that matte brown, just only in the corner, just ever so slightly. I feel like, again, um, if you use too much product, sometimes with the age, it looks like actually your eyes are more, would you say droopy? <laughs> is that the right word? And now I'm just gonna take the middle eyeshadow, which is the Shimmer Bronze, and I'm just gonna kind of sweep across my full lash line over the other color. So, and now we are just going to blend it a little bit. Any brush will do. I am going to use the brush that we used before for blending anyway, the big brush from Hourglass number 14. So I'm just gonna swipe this across a little bit. Now at this point, if you want to, you still can apply mascara. But maybe for today, what do you think? We're just gonna leave it like so. Now, so that's our eye makeup finished. All we have left is lips. So a new lipstick that you have seen also in previous video, it's called Miss Kensington from Charlotte Tilbury. And I just adore this color. It's such a beautiful color. It looks so much better on the lips actually than when you're looking at, at the lipstick itself. And I'm also gonna use it with my favorite Pink Venus lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. They just work well so so together they work so well together it's absolutely amazing both of them so i'm so happy that i've discovered that lipstick because i did not have anything to match this lip liner so it's just ideal it's a perfect so first of all lip liner i always always use lip liner i think just give you a better much better definition to your lips and now just a little bit of lipstick If you prefer, there's a lovely, lovely brush from Patrick Ta 
that also you can use it as applying your lip uh, lip color lip lipstick but also it acts as a lip liner because it has such a fine tip so you can easily kind of go around the edge edges but I just love to use it to make sure that everything is just blend properly like it so this is my look for today and actually I have to say it's my everyday look that's what I'm wearing every single day and if whatever we goes if we go on on a date night it's still I would wear makeup like that I'm trying to simplify it as well I don't want to have as I mentioned too many um, choices <laughs> yet it's just a beautiful 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 color so I hope you're gonna like it what do you think? Is it natural enough? Is it something that you might like it? And also, just to let you know, I forgot to say to you guys, um, I have a discount code for you at Down. Um, it's not sponsored by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, if you buy something from Charlotte Tilbury, you also can get a discount code for your friends. So I'm just going to leave it down below for you. Also, any discount code, I'm going to create a section. I have already created a section for you on my blog um, with all the discounts codes. So I hope you can use it. So. Now, let's move on to the next part of this video. I know this video is already so long. I've just checked what I've recorded a few seconds ago when I was doing makeup. So I will try to be as quick as possible. <laughs> I've also couldn't decide what I'm wearing today. So I have a dress from Zara. Let me just show you how it looks on. So you've seen that the dress already in my previous video, but it's just lovely. And I said I'm going to be very elegant for you today. And of course, I'm wearing my espadrilles from Tory Burch that I love, love, love and adore. So the, as you could see, I bought a new mirror for this room just to have something nice and simple where maybe I can do Instagram pictures. I'm just not sure, but it's just lovely, simple black frame and it just works with this room incredibly well actually but we're going to go to the living room and let's unbox a few pieces that i've bought recently that i have to have to share it with you so we are in the living room and as you can see there's loads of boxes a few boxes over here and over there so i promise i'm just going to be try to be as quick as possible also i need to share with you my beautiful new hydrangeas so i bought this basket and another basket from dunstar i'm going to leave a link down below and i'm so happy with them and i got a two hydrangeas and this one is so happy look at how full it is and beautiful where the other hydrangea i don't know do i want to show you let's have a look <laughs> This hydrangea, for a change, looks not so good. It's actually, it's like nearly doesn't like me, I think. So this basket is slightly different. I wanted two different baskets. I don't want the same ones. But this hydrangea just doesn't like me at all. I've been so look after it, loving it, and talk to it and everything. And it's just nearly died. So I don't know that I use too much water. Apparently hydrangea just likes water. Um, that I wasn't given enough water. I'm really, really confused. But the other one is so healthy. I've tried, I was treating them very, very same way. So I don't know what's happened. Let me know, guys, what do you think? Um, how to look after hydrangeas at home. I just really need to Google and make more research about it. It's a poor little thing. It's still pretty. It's still beautiful. But I think it doesn't like me as much as the other one. So I'm going to make myself comfortable here on this couch and where would I start? Loads of boxes on this side, but I think we're going to start over here. So these um, actually are collaborations, but they are actually amazing and beautiful collaborations. I'm sure you're going to be happy with them. And first um, item that was the gift actually is Filippo Loretti watch. Uh, I'm not sure you're familiar with the brand, but they have incredible women's and men's watches on the website and also jewelry. So this is just a beautiful and classic stainless steel watch with the white plate on it. It and it's just incredible I would love to put it on today for you however it's a little bit too big I have to bring it in to have it resized but oh it's just absolutely adorable and beautiful watch for summer but not only for summer you're going to have it and wear it all year around for the rest of your life they are inspired by um, a popular fashion and uh, beautiful female icons not only fashion but female icons and this one is called Grace inspired by Prin uh, Princess Grace uh, so next is going to be brand called T-I-J-N and just wait for it. Oh, it's 
it's amazing. They are creating a beautiful, beautiful glasses. Um, the inspiration comes from art and they put all that inspiration into the glasses. So you can have, you can buy basically online prescription glasses, you can buy sunglasses and also for me the most important blue filter glasses. So I've chose the two styles. They come with its own case and also um, a little bit of a kind of cloth to keep them nice and clean. And I've chose, you know me, I've chosen something nice, a beautiful and simple that works with everything. And if you don't know much about the blue filter glasses like this one, let me just remind you a little bit more. If you watch my previous video about how to sleep better, you know how important it is to wear blue filter glasses when you're looking at your phone, at a TV, and also at your computer screen also to protect your eyes from this light that comes from your phone and other devices and that way you're not going to get the redness in your eyes as well you sleep better because your mind your eyes are just not going to be overstimulated and that way it will help you to sleep better i have more details on my previous video i'm not going to just talk too much more about it um but blue filter glasses i'm obsessed with them from now on so i have one from now on in the living room i have by the bed when i'm looking at the phone and also in the office you don't have to have a prescription glasses just simply like these ones there's just the glass and the blue filter on them it's very very important if you don't wear the glasses to wear them anyway when you're looking at devices so i've also um this second gift was also a glasses these are not blue filter but they are such adorable they are similar style but they are actually blue frame and i just love them look how beautiful they are on so lovely and when you check the website the instagram oh you're going to be so impressed they really oh, they create glasses like really modern and i think they just make everyone who wears them just look so much more stylish and younger i just love that approach so it's not really traditional glasses it's more this nice and fresh and modern fashionable kind of glasses and as I mentioned, you can have them as a prescription as well, and they're really, really affordable. So I am, excuse me, I am going to wear them for the rest of this video because they look so well. So it's really like a nearly a fashion accessory. Oh, wear them all the time, guys. Not only just when you when you go to bed or looking at the TV, wear them all the time because they are absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much for this gift to TIJN brand beautiful beautiful collaborations and I promise you I'm just gonna have a, only a good collaborations on this channel if so I'm trying not to have that many but these brands are absolutely worth it so please check their website discount code as well for you down below this video next also I want to try a new brand which you probably know well however it's very very new to me it's called a makeup and skincare brand by Terry and I'm sure you know know very very well about this brand however I am really new to it and I want to see um, am I going to actually like it so I've only purchased like a sample kit like this one and also new palette so let me just show you a little bit uh, tell you a little bit more about the palette itself so these are beautiful highlighters eyeshadows blushes basically and Kind of highlighting bronzer from by terry and it's what a lovely lovely and summery kind of colors so these are slightly different to charlotte tilbury as you know now i am obsessed with the palette and this one is more in kind of like a pink, pink pinky undertone and i just love and adores it so by terry what else is in this box so basically there's so many products in this box that you can create a nearly full look um full makeup look with this there's a primer there's an actually new product it's actually a bronzer um that i want to review it for you in the future but this is coming up the review of by terry as well the full makeup look coming up soon so please don't worry i promise i'm just going to review that for you a little bit more same i'm just going to mention about the watch a little bit more in my next video those two products that I'm going to share with you now as well, just a quick mention, but more about them in my next video. So I thought I need a summer belt. Do you have a summer belt, guys? And I am new to this beautiful designer. I don't think I'm going to attempt to pronounce it, but she creates a beautiful, beautiful fashion pieces and also amazing accessories. And she has a sale now on, so... I could not wait any longer and I've purchased beautiful summer belt from, let me just say it, Elisabetta Frianchi. 
I hope I say it right. I love Italian, but I'm not great at pronunciations. I love any language, to be honest. So this is a beautiful, like, off-white um, belt. And I thought originally this is actually leather, but it says it's synthetic leather. So, well, it's good in a way that it looks like a true leather, um, yet it is synthetic. So the beautiful, beautiful summer belt. It's just going to work so well. You know how much I love white. I mention this all the time. I know it's nearly a boring, <laughs> but um, I want a narrow and wider belt for summer in this kind of white neutral colors. Okay, last but not least, let me just introduce you to my new handbag. And this one is a from Ralph Lauren. And it was also on sale. You know that I am a sale, discount codes, girls, samples, and, and so on. So I was delighted to buy it on 30%. And I think they still are on 30%. You also can buy a smaller size. But this one is a canvas, a finished bag. I hope camera will show you a little bit better. So it's lovely and canvas fabric with the nice and brown leather. Um, I don't have a big summer bag like this one and I just want something that I can, let's say, bring it with me even to the beach if I want and still look very, very elegant or just, just for a summer have a lovely natural fabric look handbag, not only the leather and something also bigger like this one. So I'm going to fit so many pieces into it if I'm going for shopping to Dublin and stuff like that. <laughs> so I hope you're going to like it. Smaller version also available. I'm going to leave all the links down below for you. Again, I'll tell you a little bit more about this bag inside and everything um, in my next video. So please uh, don't worry. The more to come. So thank you so much for being with me here and apologize this video is so long, but stay tuned. There's plenty more to come in my next video. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I will see you soon.